imagine an aircraft that takes off like a rocket cruises through vacuum of space and then glides back to earth landing perfectly on a runway ready for next mission this isn't science fiction it's an audacious vision behind reusable space flight and at a forefront of this ambition it is unique approach india's space research organization isro and their remarkable reusable launch vehicle technological demonstrator affectionately known as pushpak in a world striving for more affordable sustainable access to space pushpak isn't just another rocket it's a test bed for the future its bold engineering marvel designed to prove the critical technologies needed for a fully reusable two stage to orbit or tsto vehicles why is this important because reusability is the key to unlocking the economic and logistical barriers that currently make space access incredibly expensive today we are taking a deep dive into the engineering genius that makes pushpak fly first let's take a talk about pushpak form unlike most rockets that are essentially giant tube pushpak sports a distinct wing body configuration this isn't just aesthetics It's the fundamental design choice crucial for mission profile. You see, it had to perform both like a rocket during ascent and an aircraft doing its atmospheric re-entry landing. Its double delta wings and twin vertical tails are pivotal for stability and control, especially at extreme speeds. And just like an aeroplane, its feature active control surfaces, elevators and rudders that precisely manipulate its flight path. But enduring the searing heat of re-entry is where the true material science magic happens. Pushpak belly is covered in 600 heat-resistant tiles, forming its thermal protection system or TPS. These aren't just any tiles; they are often made from advanced silica materials designed to withstand extreme temperatures reaching reaching thousands of degrees Celsius. For the most extreme heat, like the nose cap, ISRO employs carbon-carbon composite material. coated with silica carbide these materials aren't just heat resistant they are also lightweight and incredibly strong a critical balance for any aerospace vehicle at just 6.5 meters long and and with a 3.6 meter wingspan the rlp td is a te- demonstrator but its engineering lessons are designed to scale up to larger operational vehicle now let's dive into the air itself flying at hypersonic speeds that five times the speed of sound beyond introduces a new realm of aerodynamic challenges we are talking about intense shock waves extreme temperature and complex boundary effects to master this isro conducted extensive wind tunnel testing and thousands of hour of computational fluid dynamics cfd simulation imagine 5000 hours of cfd and 1000 flight simulations run a monumental effort to precisely undertake pushpak behavior across its entire flight envelope this meticulously work as essential to overcome initial aerodynamic instability particularly during the ascent phase where the fins on the base rod were added for the better control during its atmospheric glide pushpak exhibits a relatively low lift to drag ratio what does that mean it means it doesn't float like a glider it descends rapidly this necessitates a high speed high angle approach for landing hitting the runway at around 350 km per hour much faster than a typical commercial aircraft precisely controlling this distance requires sophisticated aerodynamic control surfaces that remain effective from hypersonic to subsonic speed even during lift of Initial lift up beyond dynamic pressure builds up. ISRO uses secondary injection thrust vector control for pitch and yaw. Roll RCS thruster for precise roll control. Perhaps one of Pushpak's most impressive feats is its autonomous landing capability. This was spectacularly demonstrated in RLV LEX mission. Picture this: the vehicle is released from helicopter at altitude hundreds of kilometers from the runway and then completely on its own, it guides itself to precise landing. This is powered by incredibly sophisticated intern integrated navigation guidance and control system key to precision from a ground based transmitter that acts like local gps satellite giving hyper accurate positioning near runway a ka band radar altimeter provide precise altitude data critical for the final approach and leveraging india's own satellite navigation system navic ensures robust and reliable positioning Beyond the sensor and advanced guidance algorithm continuously correct for even the smallest error in the trajectory both longitudinally and laterally after the touchdown a brake parachute system dra- dramatically reduces the speed while nose while steering landing gear brakes ensure it tracks the runway perfectly this incredible level of autonomy is absolutely crucial for the operational RLV which will re-enter the orbit 
and need to land precisely on a specific runway. Re-entry is arguably the most challenging phase of any space mission. As pushback slams into the Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speed, it generates enormous friction, creating a superheated plasma around the vehicle. This isn't just hot, it's hot enough to melt most conventional material. This is where thermal protection system earns its keep. Ablating and radiating heat away, protecting sensitive interior. A significant challenge during the phase is the communication blackout period, where the surrounding of plasma tem temporarily blocks radio signal. Future RLB mission will need robust solution to maintain communication through this phase. The NGC system also plays a vital role, orienting the vehicle to maximize the TPS effectiveness and managing energy of re-entry through precise energy maneuvering often involving a specific flight profile like belly flop to ensure drag and shed speed efficiently. While the RV, RLV TD demonstrator uses HS9 solid rocket booster to achieve its initially Mark 5 speed for hypersonic flight experiment, the long-term vision for pushpers involve air breathing propulsion, specifically ramjet engine. Why scramjets? Because they are incredibly efficient for hypersonic flight. Instead of carrying both fuel and oxidizer, a scramjet scoops oxygen directly from atmosphere. This dramatically reduces the amount of oxidizer needed, making the vehicle much lighter and more efficient. ISRU has already conducted tests like the SPX for a scramjet propulsion experiment, paving the way for integrating this advanced technology in future iterations of pushback. The ultimate goal of the full-scale RLV will involve a powerful combination of semi-cryogenic and operated cryogenic engine to reach orbit. The RLB TD program is a series of meticulously planned steps. We have seen the HEX or hypersonic flight experiment eating, proving the vehicle's re-entry capability, just splashing down in Bay of Bengal. More recently, LEX or landing experiment has successfully demonstrated autonomous runway landing, a crucial milestone. The next major milestone, REX, return flight experiment on OREX, orbital run flight experiment, will involve orbital re-entry and landing fully proving the capabilities of this incredible vehicle. Each successful test moves is closer to the grand vision of two state to orbit operational vehicle, the full-fledged pushback. This approach of wing exploration for reliability differs from, say, a SpaceX vertical landing of a rocket stages. It's ISRO unique pathway to achieving a fundamental goal, drastically reducing the cost of accessing space. Imagine a rocket that don't just launch, but return home ready for next adventure over and over again. ISRO's RLV TD pushback is more than just technology demonstrator. It's a symbol of engineering ingenuity, preservation, and bold vision for the future of space exploration, from masting hypersonic aerodynamics to achieving pinpoint autonomous landing. Every experiment pushes the boundary of what's possible. The project is a testament to India's growing powers in advanced aerospace engineering, promising a future where space is not the destination for select few, but realm accessible to all, thanks to the power of reusability. The journey of pushback is far from over, but with each successful flight, it brings us closer to extraordinary future. What do you think is the biggest engineering challenge for future reusable spacecraft? Let us, let us know in the comment below. And if you found this deep dive fascinating, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more engineering analysis.